so na women in a Greek, wolf a Greek, a Jumedia, a Greek house for D. At the boy, a ma, or more my gun, and Jumedio mu a D. Say, man, a do baby, and I'm who are then intercept me, man, and tell Fibiano, or more a bomb a basso. Na said, I fear chemo, I could Jumedia, your bomb a chidom, at the bar, I could Jumedia, so who a ma, bomb a bois, my inya, a Diani be a Dino. And then switch Medino, a de air bremo, near who a ma, and a dear, a peer man temu, a ma. And I will call you, my dear. I say, who for Greek award no? A bar so oh, and I can Indian embassy a bomo. Said a bear, I am man or so, Umbenia Chidom. And eh, a brass or say, you know, chicken come on a few man or so, a dig man or so, a mamma tea, or more bre, and a crown bois, nanya, a dianetti, and faster than my numacune, nafi, infagimedino, emremo, and any other potoka cra, said their few cream, we are no, no. Yen faster than Emma Ufa fertilizer, we know for any be a for number and a fromo. Senebea, Ube to me, a born of Quedma, a becuye, a DB, or say a Greek and more. A Quedme here, Tia Honsen Bissano, so now what to me, a Bissa, na Bibia Cuye, a Diamond, and a Green Fet Organic Fertilizer, and also Bois, a Mequedma, a to me, a Cuye. You know, when I say a sin, sir, a Maju, a dear O Cuya Muno, so you found Honsen, a Madame, a year a fee, a dean. You enter Homer, your bar fee, any Canada, and Penny Forno, a very trim como. Na ya she bo mo bo na ye ma nso o mo ku adwuma no atumi akoye ye ntwe homra ye ba ye be kono yakopoto kakra e wa ye ko adwuma die so ai ko ai ko from Macquaba fee, young court Canada, and then we see for more a bois or my Ghana. Now, your man or so a deep cry and some tea, dear. Mammy Bruni, get an interesting corner cry or brofum, madam. Are you cool? Yay, thank you. Place your name and your position at uh, Canadian High Commission. My name is Kathleen Flynn Dapa, and I am the head of cooperation and director for our Ghana program. So we want to know the idea of supporting Ghanaian women in agri. Well, for Canada, we believe that women's economic empowerment doesn't just benefit women, it benefits communities. It helps grow the economy and it contributes to a more just and equitable society. So since women are key drivers for progress in the agriculture sector, the activities that help women farmers, agribusinesses, to enhance production, processing, or sales, for us are a key way that Canada enables women's economic empowerment. Okay, thank you for that. The, then the impact in supporting Ghanaian women in agri, have you gotten some impact how the women are faring? Where yeah. So we fund a, a portfolio of women's economic empowerment projects in Ghana that focus on addressing the barriers that women face in the agriculture sector. So I'll tell you about three examples that speak about supporting women's leadership, about leveling the playing field, and about having good data to make positive change. So my first example would be a project we have with Oxfam Quebec that is engaging women in leadership roles in agricultural cooperatives. So in this context, women are not only identifying the uh, issues that affect them the most, but they're actually making the decisions about how best to address those challenges. We have another project with Plan International that's focused on developing agency and leveling the playing field. So in this case, there are women-friendly business hubs, or what we're calling one-stop shops, with services to start and grow small enterprises. And this could include data, it could include market information, access to service providers, or other um, introductions to people along the value chain. And our largest example, our largest investment, our third example, is our budget support and technical assistance through the Modernizing Agriculture in Ghana program, or MAG as we affectionately call it. And in this project, we've improved data collection at the regional and district levels uh, that's focused on gender equality, and that's helping us to understand what steps can be taken to ensure that women benefit equally from agricultural extension services. Okay, thank you for your answer. And, um Going forward, you've been part of Wolf Agri, that is the award for women in Agri. Which area would you recommend that uh, they should focus on doing well, the award? With the awards, we see that there's like a vision that we have for progress for women. 
And what we want to see is that the women of Wolf Agric are growing their businesses and increasing their incomes. And what this looks like is different for every woman. Uh, but we hope they achieve the goals that they set for themselves, whether that's expanding production, diversifying their crops, finding new markets, or even exporting their products uh, beyond Ghana and, and more. Um, ultimately, what we want to see is a significant reduction in poverty among women smallholder farmers and increased incomes to meet not only their needs, but that of their households and their communities. From what I saw this year and heard at this year's Wolf Egg Rick and Gold in the Soil Awards, these women are going to achieve great things. Then if Ghana or Canada is helping Ghana, Ghanaian women, what would we recommend like uh, funding to Ghanaian women? What would be your recommendation? What should government or uh, other agencies focus on mm -hmm. helping Ghanaian women? Well, women are held back by a lot of different barriers and often several barriers at once. Uh, so what is this? It could be limited access to financing, access to arable lands, access to other productive resources, inputs or machinery. And these are recurring issues that we've been hearing about time and again. So these are the areas where we need to focus. It can also include uh, less access to skills or information and a really large burden of unpaid care, sort of child-bearing, child-rearing, household things. But there are other factors that can compound these. Income level, disability, where women farmers live. Are you in a very rural area? Are you near a town? And these can make those barriers worse for some women. So we've been hearing about these for years now, and we still struggle to address them. So we say that this is the number one area where we need to focus attention. And it's why it's so important that we have women in leadership positions to engage in discussions, to learn about the issues from their perspective, and to develop solutions with women. And how about the policy makers? We should have a strategic planning for women especially. The policy makers in agri, what should be the focus? Well, in Canada, what we've tried to do is design interventions and initiatives with women in mind. And so what it's required was that we had data we had evidence and we had analysis so that we can understand the specific situations of women in a particular sector. We could identify common issues and challenges and then we could propose solutions that will meet the needs of women. And I can tell you that this is not always easy and that it's crucial to hear the perspectives of women themselves and support them to take up leadership roles. Supporting women does not take away from men either. So just as an example, when we improve the processes for land ownership and access to financial services and products for women farmers, it can also benefit youth, not just young women, but young men as well who are struggling to access these same things. So when we remove barriers, we make it easier for those who have been traditionally excluded, all people have been traditionally excluded, to access the same services as their peers. We know you are helping Ghanaian women in agri and in Africa one thing is food security. So in your program, what would be your suggestion for helping women in agri, especially concerning food security? Well, in Ghana, women represent 34.4% of the agricultural workforce. And they're also concentrated in very different crop sectors than men. And we have global evidence that when women earn and make decisions about what to do with their income, their families and their communities benefit. In Ghana, we've made modest progress on some of the SDGs, uh, ending poverty, elements of gender equality and climate change, but we still lag on the development related to zero hunger, good health and well-being among others. But when women are sufficiently empowered, they benefit and that benefit multiplies and translates to significant gains in access to food, in poverty reduction, in quality education and in better resource management. I go. Ibrahim, how are you? My name is Hawa Ibrahim. I am 45 years old and I am from a Pesika in the eastern region of Ghana. I am into honey production. I have 258 honey boxes that I use in my honey production. 
I also have goals, smokers and overall, but all these materials are of low quality, so I'll be very grateful if I can get support to purchase quality materials. At times when we go to work, we don't even get soap to bath, so we just use hot water to bath. Ever since I started this work, I can't even boast of 500 students, but I really work hard. Honey production is very dear to my heart. I really enjoy doing it and I even dream about it anytime I sleep. One challenge I face is the lack of capital to buy more boxes for the production of the honey. I really suffer to get boxes for production. Also, the dress we use for production is of low quality and sometimes we get beaten by the bees. Even today, when I went to the farm, I was beaten by the bees but since the production of honey is my passion, I cannot complain. I will be very grateful if I can get support with some tools and materials to make my work easier. Another challenge has to do with engine boats to cross the river to my town. Before you get to my town, one needs to cross two different rivers in order to get here, so we need engine boats to enable us to cross the rivers. Also, since we are in a remote area, our network is very bad and before we are... I have 10 permanent workers, some of them are fishermen, others fry the fish and remove the scale of the gills from the fishes. I am very grateful to Global Affairs Canada, Yara Ghana, RDS and Abbey House Foundation. May God bless you for this great initiative. A friend of George Dewa, but didn't feel the same. We free at my problem. My name is Ajua Dewa. I am 65 years old from Achimeko. I have 19 acres of rubber, 4 acres of plantain and cassava, 10 acres of palm plantation, and 9 acres of cocoa. I also rear catfish and tilapia. I started farming in 2022 with a cultivation of rubber and later expanded it. I have six permanent workers in a time. I take three to four labors. I have six permanent workers in a time. Through farming, I have been able to see all my three children through their university education and I have also started building my own house. My biggest challenge has to do with the rubber tapping. We don't have professionals who do the rubber tapping and we will be very glad if the government can train people to assist us in tapping the rubber. Looking at a lady like me, who has been able to cultivate such a big rubber farm, I think I deserve to be awarded. In 2015, I was awarded the best tree planting woman in Tiwa West District. Agri House. I was born in the 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 house. I was born Jumedia Air Course, no. And you may quite be a boy. What food program? We are singing idea. A can what food program? And him say, Omo Bois Pa. Oh no, my whole dimber boy. You know, Mosun Kunk won't say, 
Kwanbei and a Omobua, Natumia, say a Ghana ma, to me, dear Moody, a Quayam, and T. Any penny back on Ekasa, a world food program. Now I heard you acquire, Madame Moaiko. Yeah, yeah. But you have a Korea. I don't a ma mo kwa dwuma world food program de ebom dia obi anim mo e ba ne se na modum ho be bata program yi yo em em se world food program o hwe ye ye bota ne se ye be hwe se yi sdg2 adia ye fresh a zero hunger em ye dwuma ye ya ne se wi asa fe ni na bi bia ye dwuma bia se Obi a bet me enya e food security. Just say Obi a and and say say Obi better come. Just say and see ye ban a great famous swa. Ya e who say ma be brave man into true. E don mo a share a great kiju mo mo. But most of the time no um omo ye challenge in a way in terms of technology in terms of skills a omo hia se omo de be ye ejuma no inti for world food program ye ye nim se em say anta ma echi a am build e omo capacity and i say an am boa omo wo nie ma e hia se om be ye ene ye buta ya e de ye nim a ye zero hunger no enya ade a Ye bet me, I realize a bebem. Okay, and your idea a bebem. In Tina, a a Juma, a great house for a dinner, say, as a opportunity. A dear home, a dear home, I a bet me, a boy, man, or near my young. Sadiana, a better damasi, say, Madam Hoko Bata, but we will say, dear Ben, I'm with the Becan, one, Madam Hoko Bata, apart from Sicano. Be innovation be quite a fast you create a quiet for frost to be the men and medical country. Me, you know, I am man or Muko, my name, Umquia, ever calling him. You, um, yeah, quite a human as no, yeah, yeah, the skills training, yeah, 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 man, um, he never be a here in terms of a more age, my moody, some technological aspects, a bia. Uh, 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 good agronomic practices. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 support uh, ma, money on um, receiving training. Uh, 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 and also um, mentorship. Who say man or uh, um, uh, they, they are mentored in a way. Uh, be a financial management and uh, say uh, be a, um, some basic stuff aside. Uh, be a, 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 a form a juma and she's standing near man and I a day like yeah 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 Agri house there, you know more I shall say de in me yeah do ma ye betwa a ye um support na ye de ma mono. But yeah if I say man or may receive a um sa mwa se say no. Um be pen five years no, yeah if I say um ye be who say at least um quality of produce no I yeah just um bet me Omo omo a do on bet me a do be brave because of practice training na e dem a omo a be ensure good agronomic practices no omo a mo ye processing ne in processing na so and value addition omo so on bet me a ye quality goods through training na e dem a omo a e be on bet me a true specification into ye did says so mo to me ye we ni na. Uh, five years, honum. Um, bet me, I economically empowered. Ah, um, bet me, I boa on my households and I say on my families, ni communities now. Me and once you name him say, once a man, um, yeah, that in empowerment, you know, and yeah, idea a bed now on one name, so bet a busiani, you know, a 
World Food Program, Eboa, United Nations, Naja, what fund and crab at the but we be such a great funding, Ewa Ghana. They've been a more can found, Sabia, dear Muye, quite a bit faster funding a man because he can't be. If you can't only train in a coil, but on my Nancasa, Ghana and Casa, see a funding ma in a great women in a great canoe. World Food Program, say number can found, say Ghana, imposition, you must say. Um, Ghana, ha, yeah, any uh, challenges are a war, a war, ma, um, ma, in terms of a Greek, a Juma, a Yedi, any say, um, ma, for instance, a bani assassin, say, ma, benya, um, control over assassin, ebia, um, who is a yi, a res nibi or honoma, utimito, utimiko high assassin, and answer auto. Areas being so or honor man, or bampo won't mean ya as I say, and high as a woos campo, and I say, Abia, um, say, Ubenya right over as I say, ain't he, um, and also finance say, just a sicker or bad debay each man, ain't he, a yeah, UN, and I said, the bluff, any other UN agencies, yeah, if you're sending your name, a bind. Any private sector, any CSU, speak me, I can't be a boom. Send a bear, a bear crazy that enabling environment, a best supporting my my a okay, you man, I could name. Okay, you're brand awesome, but what one can we are young call a ninny nature, no, but we can say in general, a foot to obey, and I demand a ma and a mebunu, a mobile create moon, a foot to bena or a mom. Medi kind with mebunu. Say, I agree, K. Jumano, opportunities, a home be brie, your opportunities were agree, K. Jumano. Now, I can't agree, can I say, I mean, said, do do no na or margin, I call a foam, a jumape. But agri business, a very large, a offer from even input dealing aspect, na a foam, a jumano, and sana even value addition, and a package in the into a very Broad spectrum, my own bet me at the home. The Hennessy will be identified near who we are interested in and be committed to it. And also, opportunities opportunities will be brave these days. Ah, we bet me just look out for the opportunities and then um, get involved. So, I'm so not man also made me can say, um, I thought they be a skill no, and I in a in himself a man to throw. Yeah, yeah, a challenge in terms of maybe a finance need, but with the right information and the right sources, no. We bet me any more a waha. And see, um, me nim say Ghana ma already. Yeah, 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 yeah. You bomb it in pan in our own little way. It me a boa. I mean, yeah, yeah, go so yeah. And see, let's continue to look out of for these opportunities. A waha area. Uh, and I say a Greek offices, then they are who send the idea who be shamed. Okay. Who's okay. for a uh, World Food Program for and uh, to me, dear course, so a year women in a Greek program, agri house to buy, you know. Oma boa, no match from my green chair. We are bar, we are bebunu, that's open so we recreate me more much as a aquanian woho, two to wire day, found who shame be. In trail, umbra, ye bar, to me, dear no, ever to us. I go. I go. A dear, the family of Margaret, a day, made you fear my name is Margaret. May walk a chum at the answer. May walk a bed and thirty five acres. I have 35 acres of plantation, 7 acres of cassava, 7 acres of milk, 40 acres of cocoa, 20 grams of water, 25 rabbits, 65 cows, 65 goat, 48 sheep, 248 goat, 958 goat, 
permanent workers a many omo eye aduma i have a team permanent work and i feel laborers are omo do omo ba omo betwa na omo adu omo sika ko enso ya ma kuma ko 10 me ma me ne papa eye kwa men and i am going to kwa aduma na me ku se e wa sa wo de wo ko she aduma bi mu e wan ka sa wo ye aduma na wo nya sika wo so se me dua ene ma ne se when it rains heavily, the crops die and when it doesn't rain, it also turns off. And also with my bags, when they fall sick, they die. Y'all let me see. Now, I'm going to go. In first place, and it's a man. I'm going to get my penny done. The bags are not going to be able to get the fertilizer as a snap. And yes, thank you to my good health foundation and pilot for this recognition and for thinking about my journey. I say God bless you and take you back. Because I am Kupon, own Shlamo. We are family. Oba Penny Credo Conte. My name is Oba Penny Credo Conte at the second. I am from Abomasu and I am 60 years old. I have 30 acres of cocoa, 2 acres of ticks, 5 acres of palm plantation, and 3 acres of plantain and cassava. I have 4 permanent workers and 6 laborers. And the people are with me and the five and six normal babbage. They didn't be on him, two or two. I have been farming since I was in school in 2002. I have a lot of challenges. I need financial support, spraying machine, and fertilizers. Well, I think both are also a issue. Through farming, I have been able to build a house for myself. I go to various schools and give virgin girls in my community training and perform some rituals for them to initiate them into farming. Looking at the road leading to my farm, it is very bad, so I will be glad if you can assist us with this our road. I would like to advise the youth to venture into agriculture and stop the galancy, because agriculture is very good and it can put food in the table. Taking the government, the district assemblies, uh, what would be your suggestion for them helping our Ghanaian women in agri? Right. So the first thing we would say is every stakeholder has a role. So with government, we need to ask, how do policies at the national level or services at the local level, how are they accessed by women and how do they meet their needs? We need to ask women farmers about this. What challenges do they face? Why do they or don't they use certain products? Why do they or don't they contact agric extension workers or adopt new practices? For the private sector organizations who are important stakeholders in the sector, they need to recognize the potential of women in the sector. They need to innovate, they need to design and deliver products and services that enable women to grow their production and their businesses all along the value chains. They need to take risks to invest in women. And the media. We yeah. need the media to tell stories from like across the country. Exactly. Okay. We need you to show us the trends, the challenges, the successes and the achievements of women in agriculture. This can challenge the government to improve it can inspire women and youth, and it can spur the, the private sector to invest. Okay. Our last question, then we'll take leave of you. <laughs> Your uh, advice to Ghanaian individuals concerning agri, especially women, women are the vulnerables. How would you advise Ghanaians to help women, especially the men and the government? 
So I get asked this question a lot. I get asked, how do we inspire more young people, especially young women, to pursue careers in agriculture and agribusiness? And of course, the first thing is we need to address those barriers that I talked about before, those barriers that not only affect women, but affect all youth. But the second thing we need to do is inspire them. We need to highlight the stories, the successes, and the passions of women farmers and agri entrepreneurs. Like the stories of the nominees and the winners of the Gold and the Soil Awards. You know, what I saw at the awards was women enthusiastically supporting other women, and it was very inspiring to see that. They celebrated each other. But also finding the mentors and role models, talking to each other, to other women, and youth working in the sector, these are all great ways to learn from each other and build a strong career path in the sector. Okay. Next year, we're going to see you again. I Helping hope so. With our Greek. I With hope agri so. Agri house. Absolutely, I hope so. Okay. Are you cool? Yay. Thank you. I was going to say, I'm going to talk to you and say, I'm going to talk to you Canada, I'm going to talk to you about the Canada, I'm going to talk to you about the Canada, I'm going to talk to you about the Canada, I'm going to talk to you about the Canada, I'm going to talk to you about the Canada, Kwenye mabe nya asasi, kwenye mabe faswe nya kandye edi ya yiku ya juma. Ochesa uko Kanada, omu wa nshishe ya, omu dibuwa e maa. Ti umbedu wa mwemu harane wa so, omu supe kwenye mbiya, omu dibuwa ya maa. Nti wei, eni jume di omu edi, omu ni agri house. Oshe, mfoni bini adi ya uhu ya maa, omu uku ya juma mu. Na eno, eno ochese, abayeno, emfa nshishe eno, entuwa so emra. Ena e maa, nusu mwomo diya se, omu beshe, Di huu kama agrik extension officers ni adeni kuiyano ebe tumi ejine yee, na chache sse adi ya ba kuwa aya ne ba bwana sse uyo ba na ubia, ba uyo ya ba, uyo ya ba yano we siswa, pobi onoso ujina brani, ne siano, ne kuiyuma, enye juma bani, na yeni na omai gana, wondo yebroni uwa ba omai gana, uba ko ba yedi yeti ha, enti di omu yee, yensomo omai nusu mwa omu, na omu tumi mwa yema ano, nusu mwa peja o kuiyimu. What did your kind? No matter how you come, we say, "Any pay you kuya, I will make gani muno." How much you will do a sign? Enna omuye ema. Neje se ema ebu kuya. Duma pa me duya ni besi apunso. Duma fa kwa in tia hudwa onde bwa ema. Na di omu ni se omuye ya no ma bwa ma ba se ne be ya ebe show mukwa ano. Oyo ba somu bi ne bi ya dafu fro. We di apie mante muno mukwe dafu fro na bi piu mante mu ne bi ya watch me enya basu body om. Ebe do masi ne amu mamu se omu fi Canada. Mungu bwa maiga na sene baye kuyajuma ebe tumi apeja. Erombe siya na demu huu yano so se bibi wamu na ebe tumi abwa. Uye gumu kubi na ebe tumi abwa. Abra na ebe bwa. Nse anse agri house eni Canada fo. Mungu ya adie pa. Enti na yuko jume de brebi yano. Ni ya babe huye. Sanse yasi ni paba akonsa eni katanya mieni. Tomu ye binye su ye yibwa yuko jume de sune peja kuyajuma o maiga ni mungu. Ene, ya dibre mungu ye. Enemu besiya nyame ya aduma ya wane dasene.